Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today I want to share with you this crazy graveyard cycle deck, really fast cycling, average elixir cost is only 2.6 guys, so it cycles insanely fast. Now, we do have the bats in there, which are a very new card, just came out on Friday if you unlocked it in the challenge, and the bats are really what allow this deck to be a fast cycle deck, because they have high damage output, they also bait out spells like zap, or whatever, so you can then go in and do more damage with your skeletons right there, and it just really completes the deck. Now, I will say, this deck does have a fair bit of a learning curve, because you don't really have a heavy shutdown card on defense, so you have to maintain pressure and use your fast cycle to your advantage and prevent your opponent from building up a strong push. Anyways, guys, there is the deck we're taking a look at today. Let's go ahead here, watch one replay versus a Golem Night Witch beatdown deck, then we'll finish off with some live battles. All right, here we go, guys, facing off against a wolf up top. Now, he is rocking a Golem Night Witch beatdown deck, which currently is one of the top strategies for ladder gameplay in the current meta. Now, we have a decent starting hand right here with the Knight as well as the Graveyard, but unfortunately, we are missing the Poison Spell, so I don't want to go aggressive just yet until we have the Poison Spell in rotation. With this deck especially, you always want to make sure you have that Poison Spell available to support your Graveyard pushes. With other Graveyard decks, you have other options like Executioners, Baby Dragons, NATO Spells. With this deck, you basically only have the Poison Spell along with the Zap Spell. The only reason right there that I did go for the Graveyard was because the Poison Spell was my next card, and I would only have to spend one Elixir on either a Skeleton or an Ice Spirit to cycle through my cards. So we had the early damage right here so far. His tower down to 2,000. 13 health. At this point in the battle, I'm fairly confident that I am facing off against a Golem deck, and you really want to prevent your opponent from building up a strong push with this deck, because like I said before, you don't have too many heavy defense shutdown cards, so you gotta maintain constant pressure. You have to use that fast cycle to your advantage, and right here, going in with another Graveyard push. A Poison Spell getting pretty good value, taking out the Tombstone, doing damage to his tower, and doing damage to the Mega Minion as well. Now take a look at this guys, watch this defense right here. Golem on my tower, Skeleton's doing work. Notice how I don't panic immediately. I don't drop archers, I don't drop a bats down. Ideally with this deck, you wanna use either the bats or the skeletons first, and either bait out a Zaspel and then use the other card, or if they don't have it, then drop all of it together. But notice how I use the archers afterwards once the Mega Minion was within range, because the Mega Minion was the biggest threat on that push. So I waited for the Mega Minion to get within range of the bridge right there, and then use the archers to kill him first. Now right there, Knight getting one hit on the tower, bringing it all the way down to 454 health, giving me a huge damage lead here so far. Now right here, I see him setting up another golem push, and I want to keep the pressure up. I want to force him to spend Elixir out of rotation, and I don't want to allow him time to build up that strong, overwhelming push. So even though we don't have the knight in our hand to tank for the graveyard, we're going to improvise with an ice spirit, a graveyard going down, ice spirit freezing the tower, giving the graveyard time to build up, and as a result, we have ourselves a one tower lead. Poison Spell coming in clutch on defense there, guys. Finishing up the Night Witch and also taking out all of her bats as well. Now watch this clutch defense right here, guys. Golem on the tower doing work. Two knights down, a bat doing work on the left-hand side. As I said before, guys, this deck cycles insanely fast. And as a result, we were able to stop that golem, guys. The skeletons as well as the bats both have fairly high damage potential. So use that to your advantage. Like I said before, guys, don't drop them together, especially if they do have splash damage units or a Zaspel. What you want to do is use the bats first, bait the Zaspel, and then use skeletons afterwards, or vice versa. So right here, six seconds left, a knight distracting that baby dragon, and we have ourselves a sweet one crown victory. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead here, jump into some live battles. All right, here we go, guys, with battle number one, facing off against magic up top there. All right, sir, good luck to you. We have the perfect starting hand with this deck. We got poison, graveyard, and the knight in our starting rotation. So we will see what he does first. Lava Hound, so let's go aggressive on the right hand side with a Knight Graveyard, boom. Poison for the minions. Poison the Tombstone for sure. There we go. Skarm is dead, Tombstone is dead. Knight Graveyard on the tower right there, guys. Boom, I like it. Now, how do we stop a Lava Hound, guys? How do we stop a Lava Hound? Good question, good question, I'm glad you asked. Um, I'm not too sure, we're gonna go Spats right here to hopefully take it out quickly. And if he zaps it, we'll do arches back here. Hmm? Ice Spirit? Skeletons? Knight? We're gonna ignore the Electro Wizard on the right-hand side, soak up a bit of damage, and use that Knight to tank those Lava Pops. And there we go, guys. We have ourselves an early one-tower lead. 
Knight putting on pressure. We're not going to support the Knight with a Graveyard right now because we don't have enough Elixir for a Poison. We know that he does have the Skarmie in his deck. So you don't want to do a Graveyard push unless you have that Poison available because basically you just waste a bunch of Elixir. So let's go Poison right here. Ice Brute for these minions. Boom. They did. Bats right here, guys. And then we're going to go ahead and do... We're actually going to just sit back here. Let them die. He's going to Fireball that. Decent. Decent. So now we have a decent hand right here, guys. We got Graveyard Knight to do a push like this. Graveyard right there. Knight in the middle. And we can zap the Skarmie if we have to. Actually, you know what? We're going to do that, guys, right now. Wait wait for it. Boom and a boom. And then if he does Skarmie, we'll zap it. Yes, boom, zap. Nice. Skarmie's dead. Tombstone's going down. Skeleton's building up with the tower. Knight's still surviving. Getting a decent chunk of damage and also forcing out a defensive arrows as well. So with this deck, guys... As I said before, you have to keep the pressure up. You don't have, like, a super defense stopper, if that makes sense. So you got to keep the pressure up, guys. you got to keep the pressure up. Right here, I'm going to go in once more with another one of these. I'm going to get the poison down for the minions. Yes. Poison will kill the minions, and then I'll hopefully kill the skeleton army as well. There we go, guys. Building up, building up. Almost a dead tower. Let's go archers right here. Ice spirit. We're going to go... Bats and Skeletons back here with a Knight as well to kill this uh, Electro Wizard. Lava Hound is dead. We're going to go Archers here as well to kill those Lava Pumps. Ice Spirit, freeze it, freeze it. Yes, Bats as well, guys. Look at this fast cycle game right here. He has no chance. Literally no chance. Miner going down. Uh, interesting Skarmy there. Okay, see if we can get another tower down here, guys. Pretty far up on nothing. Let's go boom and boom right here. And the arrows in the King Tower, I don't think the arrows do kill the King Tower. So we should be good here for a maybe three crown. Come on, come on, come on, three crown, skeletons, do your job. Not quite, guys, not quite. But 2,000 health left on his King Tower right there. Against a Lava Hound Miner deck, not too bad, guys. We don't even have, we don't even have the NATO in this deck, which typically is very important for beating Lava Hound decks. So as you can see, the pressure with this deck is insane. You just got to kind of play your cards correctly because you don't have defense stopping power. So you can't let them build up an overwhelming push, if that makes sense, guys. Alright, so let's chill, chill, chill. Let's go skeletons here. I'm expecting Mortar Cycle, which I really hope it isn't. But we'll see. He says, well, we'll give him uh, one of these. So seeing the Ice Wizard, to me, says we're all giant deck. Now, I could be wrong in that assessment, but I'm guessing Royal Giant deck. We'll find out here shortly, I'm assuming. Doing a bit of damage on the left-hand side. We're going to ignore the Ice Wizard here in a second. And because I'm worried about him supporting the execution on the left-hand side with a Royal Giant, which if he does... Uh, ooh, look at this, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Kill the Hog Rider. Yes, Executioner go down. Hog Rider is dead. He did a decent amount of damage with that Hog Rider, though. Um, but the knight going up there is poisoning these archers right here. Knight will get a couple of hits off. Archers get 1, 2, 3, 4, 17. Smacks on the tower and the archers are dead. So, with this deck, guys, you got a lot of swarm units, as you can probably guess. Against an executioner, you it's really important that you distract the executioner with that knight. Otherwise, all of your stuff will go down. And the uh, ice spirit can actually tank one hit from an executioner. So use that to your advantage if you can. Let's go... Skeletons with an archers right here. And unfortunately, we can't put on counter pressure here. So we got to kind of soak up a bit of uh, offense here. Let's go kill that knight. Let's go boom, boom. Freeze it. Nice. Skeletons right here. Skeletons will just hopefully take out the uh, hog rider pretty quickly. Let's go right here. Graveyard guards tank for that. Nice. Graveyard doing work. He's going to nail that together probably away from the tower. My guess. Come on, archers. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Let's go. Archers right here, guys. If we can defend for 50 seconds, we are A-OK -okay right here for the rest of this battle. Go boom right here. Knight. Bats over here. Ice Spirit to freeze the uh, Executioner. Bats doing work right there, guys. The Knight going down. Wow. Look at this, guys. It quite literally is insane. Come on, come on, come on. We're just, we're just cycling through our cards right here, guys. Just playing defense. I don't think he'll push the right-hand side, which he would actually be smart to do if he did. Boom. Archer's here. Is that this? Boom. Knight right here, guys. There we go. There we go. Thank you, sir. 
Now, does he have lightning spell in his deck? I don't know. We'll find out soon. Kill the... Kill the... Yes, yes. Hogbrand is dead. Thank you. 387 health on our tower, guys. Cutting it close, guys. Cutting it really close right there. But pulling out another victory. He was a level 11, though. I will point out he was a level 11. But... Uh, I think it was a pretty comparable battle in terms of the card levels. And we have ourselves another 31 trophies right there. Not too bad at all. Alright, so let's finish the video off here with one final battle. Oh, facing off against a max 13, guys. Ay ay ay. My bats are in a level 10, so they are. Like, the bats are pretty strong, but... They still are a level 10 common. At this trophy range, which, uh... I don't know, guys. I don't know if a level 10 common is, like, decent at this trophy range or not, but we'll see. So, he's got a max Hog Rider. This is going to be a very tough battle here. I don't want to do Graveyard. Uh, do I want to... Yes, we, you know, we're going to do it, guys. YOLO. Actually, bad bad Graveyard. He's got Archers. I knew I shouldn't have done that, because I didn't have enough Elixir for the Poison spell. So, that Graveyard right there, like, look at this. We spent 5 Elixir. Didn't do any damage to his tower. And we just allowed him more time to build up a counter push. This is going to be a GG right here. I'm calling it. But, uh... It, I don't know. It is what it is, guys. Stuff happens. Mistakes were made. Lessons were learned. Um, that's why you don't do a graveyard unless you can do a poison with it, guys. I said that in a previous battle right there. Don't do graveyard unless you have poison right there. I, I don't know why I did it, guys. I got greedy. I got greedy. Um, it, was a, it was a mistake. So, let's see if we can recover from this. It's going to be tough, though. I know I said that before. I just don't know how we're going to pull through with this, with this level difference here. Uh, let's go ahead and do Knight right here. He's going to switch it up. Nice. Respectable choice. He's going to zap that. We're going to freeze it. Archer's right here. And it's going to take a little bit of time for the uh, skeletons to kill that Hog Rider. And now he's finally... Oh, max level Hog Rider is pretty strong, guys. I jelly. So I think his Hog Rider is... Or his Archers are out of rotation. Let's go in here with the Graveyard in a second. I believe his Archers are out of rotation. But we'll find out shortly, I'm assuming. Nope, he's already running back. He's got a fast cycle deck as well. But the archer getting a bit of work there on the right-hand side. But unfortunately, we are too low on tower health, guys, for the rest of this battle. Too low on tower health. So let's go. Skeleton's there. He's going to zap him, though. All right, maybe not. Let's see if we can make something happen right here, guys. His archer's out of rotation. Let's go. Boom. There we go. Come on. Build up. He's going to zap it, though. Yes, he zapped it. Let's go. Skeleton's right here. Kill the Hog Rider. If we get another a knight up front right here, it might be okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go. Uh, graveyard in a second, guys. Kill his archers, please. There we go. Graveyard right here. Ice Spirit. Does he log it all back? Yes. Zap this. Boom. Freeze it all. Archer's doing a massive amount of work there, guys. Whoa. 400 health on his tower. 300 health on his tower. Fireball taking out ours, though, unfortunately. I'm so impressed, guys. You can see right there, the power of this deck is quite literally insane. We can't finish that tower off, though, uh, because we don't have enough time. And he has the two-tower uh, two victory, but we got super close. 118 health on his tower, guys, against a max 13. All of his cards are max, guys, and 118 health on his tower. I definitely count that as a win right there. It was a pretty close battle in the end. But anyways, guys, that will be the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want another chance to go ahead and copy it. It's a really interesting and unique deck. I highly suggest checking it out if you enjoy super fast-paced gameplay and fast cycle decks. It does have a bit of a learning curve. However, you can't allow your opponent to build up a big push because you don't have those heavy shutdown cards. So you have to maintain constant pressure and use the fast cycle to your advantage. Anyways, guys, that will be the end. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.